chill out and let God be God. God said, I feel like the Holy Spirit is saying, you need to chill out and let God be God. All right, you guys, this is Pastor Dawn, and um, you guys must be needing a bunch of miracles because God has been pulling out of me um, specific, what do you want to call it, prophetic words and instruction. And I almost feel like this is like now this, like this mini series. So there are two or three videos I've recently um, posted, and I'm going to link them in the description of this video. Um, one of them was when you need a miracle from God. As I had to turn on the air conditioner in my car because it's hot in here, so I'm going to try to talk louder than the air conditioner. So one of the other videos was uh, get up and do something. And so sometimes God needs us to take an action of faith, uh, an action step in faith, moving toward the miracle that we are trusting him to provide. And the third video, which I'm going to link in here, um, I think I posted yesterday, and that was when your emotions are all jacked up. So when your emotions are all jacked up in ang any form of anger, any form of fear, and any form of sorrow, grieving, and loss, it's very difficult for you to hear the instructions of the Lord. Hearing God's instruction and strategy for your miracle is absolutely necessary, okay? And you guys, these are general principles, and I've, like, I didn't, I didn't learn these overnight. Like, literally, I had to learn these through trial and error and through many years of pressing into God's biblical promises for me going, okay, Lord, why am I not seeing this in my life? And him kind of leading and guiding and maneuvering me through these things. Okay. So today's message is chill out and let God be God. And I'm basing that on a scripture of be still and know that he is God. Okay. And so I'm not going to say that this one was an easy one for me to learn. Um, there are even still sometimes some days when I have to remind myself of this. But when you, when you have done everything that you know to do, you have sought the Lord. You've asked him to search your heart. You have repented and turned away from uh, rebellious sin or recurrent sin or just, you know, whatever. You've allowed God to, um, to consecrate your heart unto him. You are truly seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness in your life. Um, you are not going to the world for answers, but you're going to God for answers. And you're saying, Lord, this is a miracle that I need. And so I'm asking you to provide it. And I'm asking you for your wisdom, Lord, your revelation, knowledge, discernment, understanding, and your strategy and your step. Like if there are instructions, if there's a, a, a set of instructions or action steps that I need to take, Lord, I'm asking that you reveal that to me. Okay. So if you've already gone through all of that, if you've already obeyed whatever instructions he may have given you, and you are allowing yourself to remain in a space of peace and contentment, then at that point, you have to be still and know that he is God. At that point, you have done everything that you can do and you have to leave it in his hands. You have to entrust it to him. So like you have to, uh, and so this is, this is sometimes difficult for us as human beings we kind of have to take that miracle that we feel that we need from God. And I'm assuming that this is like a real necessity, not just, not just something that you're greedy for, not just something that you want because you want it because you want it. Like I'm talking about something that God is saying that it is his desire to give to you and to bring into your life. Okay. And that's a whole nother thing of discerning that. And I'm not going to get into that today. When you have done all that you can do, it is then time for you to rest in his love. It is time for you to chill out. It is time for you to let God be God. He does not need your help to bring about the miracle that he has for you. The Bible says that he hastens to perform his word for you. Uh, his word also says that his word over your life does not return void, but it accomplishes that which he desires in your life. His word also says that he knows the plans that he has for you, plans to prosper you, plans to um, to give you a hopeful future. I will link all of these scriptures in the in the description of this video. When you have done your due diligence, you have to let God be God. And you have to remain in a state of joyful gratitude. You have to remain in a state of 
prayerful worship, prayerful thanksgiving. You have to remain in a state of uh, confessing. Um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I, I just praise you and I thank you so much, Father God. I am so grateful that you have now done XYZ in my life. So you continue, um, you know, to by faith confess uh, the word of God. And, and by the way, you should be using a scripture, you know, whichever scripture like applies to your situation. Father God, I'm bringing this scripture to you in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare in Jesus name that God has now done X, Y, and Z according to his word of ABC. You guys get the idea, right? When you have done all of that, you have to be still and know that he is God. And I know that, that sometimes when we feel like we are in a desperate situation, that can be very much a challenge. But you guys, I had to learn over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm going to be honest with you. The Lord told me on many occasions, he says, Dawn, he goes, you have to gain victory over this type of anxiousness or what, you know, what have you. Like, the Lord told me, he goes, in some respects, I was not going to move forward in my life until I really learned how to get into a space of being still, chilling out, and knowing that he is God, and resting in his love, and resting in his promises, knowing that he is not a man that should lie. Like, I had to learn how to do that, and there are still times... <laughs> in my present life circumstances that I may like veer off from that a little bit and he'll bring me right back. He's like, Dawn, get into the right heart space, get into the right mindset, get into the right emotional space, like get into the right position of you are uh, you. Well, I'm his daughter, but you are his son or daughter. You are his beloved child in whom he is well pleased you are the apple of his eye you are a um you are seated with christ in heavenly places you are an heir of god and a joint heir of, with christ god has amazing bible says in jeremiah 29 11 that he knows the plans that he has for you and accepting the timing of god i'm not gonna lie accepting the timing of god could sometimes be a challenge because we want what we want when we want it right but I can promise you this, anything that was absolutely necessary that I had today or absolutely necess necessary, like absolutely necessary that I had tomorrow, if I would remain in that place of peace and that place of rest and not trying to figure it out how God's going to do it and not even trying to help God. God doesn't need your help. He, he can be God all by himself. I promise. So I had to gain some mastery over all of that stuff in all honesty, before I started seeing the supernatural miraculous happening in my life on a consistent basis. Now, I'm not saying that for you that the learning curve will be that long. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that was what the learning curve was for me. I'm not, you, might, you might get it a whole lot quicker. Like you just might grasp it and retain it and walk in it a lot easier and a lot more quickly than I did. For me, it took a lot of renewing my mind with the Word of God. It took a lot of coming out of agreement with wrong mindsets and belief systems that the enemy was planting into my thought patterns. For me, it took a lot. For you, it might not. Okay. All right. So today, I just want to encourage you. If you've done all of that, I need you to chill out and let God be God. I need you to be still and know that He is God. And so um, if this word is for you and you know this word is for you, I need you to get into the comments and write something to the fact, I'm going to chill out and let God be God, or I'm going to be still and know that he is God. But some way, ugh, I got hair in my mouth, some way, some, uh, some form, I just need you to let me know that this message was for you and that it was encouraging for you. So by the way, thank you to all of our new subscribers. If you are new to the family, thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad to have you here with us. Um, I want you to make sure that you uh, hit the notification bells that will um, alert you whenever I upload a new video or go live. And I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, there are those of you that, that so encouragement into my life and you know you'll send me you know short notes you know that this particular message meant a lot to you i appreciate that you know sometimes it can be hard to keep 
giving and giving and giving and giving and not receiving a lot of um, feedback, you know. And I also want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you that um, financially support the ministry of this channel and give. So I, I really, really, really appreciate it. It frees up a little bit of my time so that I don't have to work as much so that I can give some of my focused attention to the content of this channel. Speaking of which, if you have never sewn into the ministry of this channel, all of the giving links are in the description of the video, or you can just go to my website, which is dawnchurchill.org. There is PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, international giving, credit cards, debit cards. We've got all forms of it. And so if this message really was imprinted on your heart, or if you just have never sewn into the ministry and you would like to bless us, uh, you would just a small way of saying thank you. Um, if you will pray about it, no compulsion whatsoever, if you will pray and ask God if there is some way that you can support the ministry of this channel with your financial giving, all of the giving links are in the description of this video. Okay, so I'm gonna pray for you guys and I'm going to pray that you all learn how to master all of the things that I've talked about today um, and in the other videos that, um, that I've mentioned today that I'm linking in the description of this video. I'm going to pray that God takes you through a supernatural, speedy transformation process to be able to walk in the fullness of all of those things that I mentioned today and to do so with love and joy and peace and contentment in your heart. Okay, so let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you for this day. Lord, I ask in Jesus name that for whoever this message is for, Lord, I do pray that you would cause it to come across their eyes and across their timeline and across their phone screen or their computer screen or whatever on the exact day at the exact time that they need to hear it. Father God, in Jesus' name, I ask that you would impress deeply upon their minds and hearts, Lord God, that you desire to do miracles in their life. You desire for their life to be full. You want their lives to be full to the fullest extent of your love, your joy, your peace, your kindness, your wisdom, your direction, blessing on the works of their hands, uh, divine health and healing, um, wealth and riches, so that they have more than, more than, more than enough to sow into all kinds of kingdom works in the earth, a fruitful relationship, like, like God, you desire for us to walk in the fullness of your grace and your mercy upon our lives. And so, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would open up the heavens, that you would pour out your light and your glory and your presence upon them now. I ask that you would minister your love, your joy, your peace, your healing to their minds, hearts, will, and emotions. Father God, whatever the miracle is that they need, whatever the need is, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, financial, relational, um, can't think of anything else, but whatever it is, Lord, I'm asking in the name of Jesus, you as Jehovah Jireh, Lord God, that you would open the floodgates of heaven and that you would pour into their lives that which you, uh, that which you desire to pour into their lives. And so, Father God, in Jesus' name, I just pray a special blessing over them today. Lord, I ask that you would quiet their hearts and their minds with your love and your peace. Father, help them to anchor their thoughts and their emotions in your word today. But I'm asking that for each one of them, that you give them a specific scripture from your word that they can anchor their faith on, that they can anchor their thoughts on, that they can anchor their emotions on in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I ask for all of that. And so also, Lord, I just... Um, for all of those that support this channel um, in whatever way that they sow back into this channel, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray abundant, exponential blessings in their life, Lord God. Lord, if, if they send in words of encouragement, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would increase that encouragement and that um, uh, just emotional support and for lack of better words, Lord, warm fuzzies. Like I pray that however that they have sown into this ministry, God, that you would sow into their life exponentially and then some. 
Father God, for those that have sown financially into this ministry, you guys, you don't know this. Every single time a financial seed comes in, I specifically pray over that person. And so right now in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God, that you would bless them 30, 60, 100, even a thousand fold. And Father God, for those who are in that space in their life where they are just exhausted, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would sow into their life new strength, new joy, new hope. Uh, you guys, um, one of the things that the, that the, one of the ways that the enemy robs God's blessing in our life is by stealing our hope and our vision. So if by your current surroundings, if the enemy can get you to look at them long enough and to agree that that's how it will always be, the Bible says that God's people perish for a lack of vision. And so a lot of times our ability to have faith for the future and to have hope and joy for the future is limited by our vision. If we can't see in our imagination the promises of God coming to pass in our life, then that's one of the ways that God, that the enemy steals them out of our life. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you impart new vision into them. Lord, give them eyes to see and ears to hear what your Holy Spirit would say to them. Even as, um, Lord, I'm trying to remember the name of the servant um, in the Old Testament. Um, but the prophet asked you, Lord, I'll, I'll, I'll find the scripture and I'll link it in the description of this video. The prophet prayed and said, Lord, let your servant see that there are more with us than are against us. And so, Father God, I pray that same thing over your sons and daughters right now, that they would be able to see with their mind's eye that because you and them together are a majority against the enemy, you, you Father God, and each one of them together is a majority against the enemy. Father God, I ask that you would give them, give them eyes of faith, give them eyes of hope, Give them eyes to see this in Jesus' name. All right, you guys. Um, I think that's it. If this message was encouraging for you, do me a favor. Like, love, and share it with like 10 people that you know. And um, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day.